Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I'll be looking at The Clown from the McFarlane, the Batman 3 Jokers wave. And with that said, let's get right into it. Starting off with articulation, The Clown has 360 degree head rotation, can look up about that high up, and that far down. He also comes with head tilt, which helps to put him in a very creepy looking Joker position. His arms go about this far up, and also have bicep swivel on both sides. There are also double jointed elbows, and his hands are on ball pegs that allow for vertical hinge. However, this vertical hinge is hindered by the wrist cuffs that are inside of his sleeves, and horizontal hinge, which is less restrictive than the vertical hinge. Moving on to his chest, he has a torso piece and as well as a diaphragm joint that allows for him to bend forward this much and this far back. In addition, both of them also allow for 360 degree rotation for the clown. Moving on to his trousers, the clown is able to kick up about this high and this far back. However, kicking this far back does expose the inner parts of his midsection. In addition, I find this midsection to be somewhat of a flawed system somewhat in the sense where it, while it does allow for more movement, it does give off like a diapery look for him and it doesn't really have a seamless look to it. However, I'm not sure how there would be any other option to do this unless it was just one other hard piece that might actually look more consistent due to the difference in plastic and material as this one is a much more flexible plastic while this is a much harder plastic. But anyways, moving on to his legs. The clown has double jointed knees that go this far back and also his feet are on ball joints that allow for his feet to go this far down and this far up. And as you can see, there's also toe articulation and his feet can also pivot due to the ball joint that his foot is on. And another additional thing I noticed is that he has a weird peg right here. I'm not sure if this is only on my figure, but you can see here that this is a more consistent purple with the rest of the pants, but this is more like a pinkish purple, almost like it might've been a peg from his jacket maybe, but I don't know. I think maybe it's just miscoloration because it doesn't seem like it has that same issue on this other side. Moving on to accessories, the clown comes with four accessories, including his trading card, the standard McFarlane DC Multiverse stand, a crowbar, and also his own laughing joker fish. Here's the back of the trading card. Pause now if you want to read it. Taking a further look at accessories, let's take a look at the laughing joker fish. So you can see here that the laughing joker fish, or the laughing fish, has its face painted in a very white coloring, but the base is all orange with green fins painted all around it. And you could even see the sculpting of the scales on the fish. However, the face is not painted very well at all in my opinion, as while the teeth are nicely sculpted and the white paint does show the details, it's missing a lot of parts such as the eyes and even the red mouth that I think these laughing fish are supposed to have. But moving on to the crowbar, we can see that compared to a lot of other McFarlane crowbars that he gives with, say, the Red Hood and other Jokers, this crowbar is very different as it's much larger, it has a flatter top and a flatter edge, and also it has this area here that seems more to be like a poking area, almost like a more of a stabbing part of the crowbar more than it is like an area to lift up a crate or open something. In comparison, here's crowbar that was given with the three jokers red hood that I have. You can see that it's very different as this ended part is much more like the front which makes it look like it's more of a opening flap and it's much skinnier. In addition I find that the three jokers red hood crowbar is way too small. I think that this new one that came with the clown is a much better length for it. Now let's take a look at the sculpt. Let's start off with his head. I really like this joker's head. I like the very sinister look to it, the smiling teeth. And while the photoreal tech or paint job on it does kind of leave a somewhat grainy look, I do like that his eyes are like a 
almost like a green mixed with a yellow. It has a really sinister look to him. Also, does anyone else notice that this face sculpt almost looks a lot like Willem Dafoe? Somewhere on YouTube, there's a video where a person edited an interview with Willem Dafoe and made him look like the Joker, and he looks a lot like this. But that's not a bad thing, as it looks really good. I really like this evil head sculpt for Joker, the evil, really smiling head sculpt. But moving on to the body, you can see that he has his buttons on his jackets, or his jacket, the back of his jacket, his vest, and also you can slightly see that there's even one on his pants here. However, these aren't painted in, so it's kind of lost into the detail. And overall, this color scheme, at first, I really didn't like it, honestly. Like, although it is referencing Cesar Romero's take on Joker, and I actually find Cesar Romero's Joker to actually be not too bad a Joker. I actually really think that for the time, and also as one of the very first Jokers, it actually wasn't too bad, at least for live action anyways. But I do think that this color scheme blends in a little too much at the top, specifically the flower and the coat. I, I wish that the flower was a different color so it would stand out more. But over time, it's actually grown on me. I'm actually beginning to like this color scheme more and more, but I do prefer more of the classic Joker's color scheme. But moving on to his pants, I actually really like that his pants have this lined drawing on it. While it's not sculpted in, I do like that it has a layer of consistency, specifically because it also helps connect the midsection and the crotch piece here to the rest of the pants. Although I do still wish this was more of a hard plastic than it was uh, a softer plastic. Moving on to his feet, you can even see that they actually painted the like sock piece, or at least the layering here for the Joker's feet. And you can even see, or at least for his boots, and you can even see that there's even buttons there too. Sadly, those are also not painted in. I like this a lot because previously I had the joke, the Rebirth Joker, which I had to customize and paint for myself with many of the areas, such as the buttons there that I painted called different colors and his chain right here that previously been painted gold, but was also missing certain areas that were colored. And I also had to paint these exact white sock lace type of things on the boots as well, as it was previously all black and was not painted. And in addition, I also like the clown's head sculpt way more than the Rebirth Joker as it looks more sinister and something about the Rebirth Joker always threw me off. I do like that he's laughing, but something about it just didn't really attract my attention to it. But overall, I think that the clown has a more superior head sculpt, but that's not to say that the Rebirth Joker's head sculpt is bad at all either, as well as I like the color scheme of the Rebirth Joker much more. For a creepy smiling comparison, here's the Joker clown next to the Rebirth Joker and the Batman Who Laughs Sky Tyrant who is part of the Merciless build figure wave without his wings. For a comparison with some characters that appeared in the Three Jokers storyline, here's McFarlane's The Three Jokers Batman and also my own custom Red Hood which I used from parts of the Unmasked Thomas Wayne, the Gotham Knights Red Hood as well as the Three Jokers Red Hood as well. Overall, I think this clown Joker is not too bad of a pickup, especially if you don't really have many Joker figures or are looking for a Joker that has a very sinister head sculpt. While the color coordination isn't my favorite and I wish he had more accessories, and also because I think the design is overall decent, I would definitely recommend this figure to anybody who doesn't have a Joker in their action figure collection yet. If at any point you considered liking this video, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button, the like button, or leaving a comment down below. I've been Figuristic Productions. I'll see you all in the next one.